Good morning, Year One. Today we are going to start learning how to tell the time. Now, a clock really is just a number line. It has got the numbers from one up to twelve on it, and we can use the hour hand to tell us which hour it is. So, at the moment, my hour hand is pointing at the number one, which tells me that it is one o'clock. I can move it on an hour when it's pointing exactly at the two. I know that it is now two o'clock. What time will it be in one hour's time? If I move it along one hour, it is three o'clock. And every time our hour hand is exactly pointing at a number, it is an o'clock time. So the moment it's three o'clock, what time will it be in one hour? It is now four o'clock. And I've got a tricky question for you now. Now it is four o'clock. My hour hand's pointing exactly at my four. What time will it be in two hours? In two hours, I'm moving on from my four. That's one hour. Two hours. It is now six o'clock. In one hour's time, seven o'clock. If the time is seven o'clock, what time was it an hour earlier? What time is it if I go back one hour? Six o'clock. And you have to make sure your hour hand is pointing exactly at the number. So one hour from six o'clock, seven o'clock. One hour from seven o'clock, nine o'clock. Eight o'clock, sorry. <laughs> one hour from eight o'clock, nine o'clock. One hour from nine o'clock, ten o'clock. One hour on takes us to eleven o'clock. And one hour on takes us to 12 o'clock. And that's exactly what your clock does. It moves the hour hand around an hour to point at each of these different numbers. Now, when I get to 12, what do I need to do? Have you ever heard of 13 o'clock? Have you seen a 13 on a clock? I've got a clock here for you. Is there a number 13 on it? So when we get to 12, we then have to go all the way back on our number line around to 1. And we start again at 1 o'clock. And because it does that and it jumps back from 12 to 1, we can't have it on a normal number line. Because when it gets all the way up to 12, it'd have to somehow get back round to start again at 1. So we can't use a normal number line when we're looking at a clock. And instead... We move our numbers from a number line in the same order around into a circle. It's exactly what we have here. We still have our number line just like before. At the moment, our hour hand is pointing at our one. It is one o'clock. In one hour's time, it will move and it will point at our two and it will be two o'clock. And it does exactly the same thing. The hour hand moves around pointing to the numbers to tell us which o'clock it is. So this is one hour later and it is now two o'clock. What time will it be in two hours time? Our hour hand's pointing at our two. What time will it be in two hours time? Where will our hour hand have moved to? We'll move round past two. Remember, it's exactly like a number line. It's just going round in a circle. Round past the three and it'll end up where? It moves on to our number four. Four is two more than two. Let's have a little look. At the moment, my clock is showing me 11 o'clock because my hour hand is pointing straight at the 11. It's 11 o'clock. What time will it be in one hour? Where will my hour hand have moved to? Have a look at this together. The number's one more than 11. An hour away will be 12. And it will then be 12 o'clock. Now, just as we did before when we had our number line, what hour will it be then? An hour after 12 o'clock. What number comes after 12 on a clock? This is the strange one. There isn't a 13, which is one more than 12. Instead, we can look what comes next after it. We go round to one o'clock. And our our hands, or all hands on the clock, the hour hand always, always moves round in that direction. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, back round again to 1, and goes all the way round again. 
Now we've learnt to tell the o'clock time now using just the hour hand, but on a clock there is another clue that is on there that tells us that it is an o'clock time. So as well as our hour hand, that's this short one we've been looking at, pointing exactly at a number so it tells us it's an o'clock time, there's also this long hand, and we call this hand the minute hand. And we're going to learn more about this later on, but for today, all we need to remember is that when it's an o'clock time, when it's exactly on an hour, our minute hand points exactly at the top. So when our minute hand's exactly on the 12, then we don't need to worry about it, we just look where our hour hand is going. Because our hour hand, whenever it's pointing to a number, our minute hand must be at the top and it's an o'clock time. Okay, so what time is this on the board? Our minute hand's on the 12, it's an o'clock time. Where's our hour hand pointing to? At the four, it is four o'clock. I have a little chance to look at this one. What time is this showing us? We've got our minute hand at the top. It means it's an o'clock time and our hour hand is pointing at the six. So it is six o'clock, six of the clock. That's what that means. In the olden days, they used to tell the time using clocks and also using the sun. So to tell the difference, they would say, they were telling the time it would be six of the clock. Six using the clock and not the sun. And now we've shortened it, so we just say o'clock, which is a bit of a funny thing to say. Okay, have a look at this little girl here who's walking out of her house. Behind her, we can see the clock. What time does the clock show? What time is it that this little girl is leaving her house? I can see the minute hand is on the 12. That's our longer hand. And our hour hand is the shorter hand. What number is our hour hand pointing to? What time is this? Look at exactly where our hour hand is. What number is this? It is eight, eight o'clock. Now, my friend said she's leaving her house at eight o'clock in the evening. Do you think my friend is correct? Are there any other clues in that picture that can help us to work out what time she's leaving the house? I can see over here that it looks like maybe the sun is shining, it looks very light outside, and I think at eight o'clock in the evening, it is normally a bit darker than that. So I think maybe this must be eight o'clock in the morning. It also looks like our friend here might have her school bag with her or bag to take out with her. So I think it's eight o'clock in the morning. On our clock, we don't know if it's eight o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the evening, because our clock goes around twice each day. So we have to use other clues to try and work out if it is morning, afternoon, or evening. Okay, now we've got lots and lots and lots of clocks on the board. Each of these is showing us a different time. And if we look closely, they're actually moving around in a pattern. The first one is both of our hands pointing to the 12. So the minute hand is, so it's no clock time. And the hour hand is as well, so it must be 12 o'clock. Which they've written here for us, 12 o'clock. And we can see that's shortened for of the clock. The next one then, minute hand stays in the same place, it's still an hour time. Now our hour hand's pointing exactly at the one. The hour hand's pointing exactly at the one, it must be one o, which is just an o. A funny apostrophe because we're missing some letters, we're missing the letters that spell out of the clock, and then just the word clock, which is really tricky for me to write on my laptop, so I'm sorry for the horrible handwriting. Clock. One o'clock. And then they've done the next ones for us, when it's pointing exactly at the two, two o'clock. When our short hour hand moves to the three, three o'clock. When our short hour hand moves to the four, four o'clock. When it's on the five, it must be, remember, it's exactly on. We need to be really careful, make sure it's exactly pointing at the five, five o'clock. Now it's pointing exactly at the six. It must be six o'clock. Then they've shown us seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. And what time will it be an hour on from ten o'clock? 
What time is it? An hour later than 10 o'clock. What number comes after 10? 11 o'clock still. Now you're about to do an activity that's very, very similar to this. So it's really important that you're listening so that you know what to do in your workbooks. So there's a little boy here who is doing different things during his day. And there's a clock that tells us the different times that he is doing the different activities. So the first clock we can see here, I don't know if you can see it properly where you are, but it is showing us this time. And it says underneath, it is eight o'clock in the morning. What's our friend doing at eight o'clock in the morning? I think, is he going to bed at eight o'clock in the morning? No, I think he's waking up. So our little boy wakes up at eight o'clock in the morning. Next, he has gone to the beach with some friends. Lucky him. So what time does he go to the beach with some friends? We've still, still an o'clock time. We've still got our minute hand, which we're not really looking at the moment. And where is our hour hand pointing? At the 11. So it is 11 o'clock. And they've told us here, 11 o'clock in the morning. He's gone to the beach at 11 o'clock in the morning. Now it looks like he's having some lunch. Maybe it's dinner. Let's find out. At this time here, where's our hour hand pointing to? The two. At two o'clock in the afternoon, our friend is having some lunch. And then a, I think he's going home. What time does he go home? o'clock and where is our hour hand five at five o'clock in the evening okay you are starting your work today in your workbook number two workbook 1b which is very very exciting and the first page we're going to do is page 101 which i know is a little bit strange but we're doing different learning now that we're at home aren't we so on page 101 this is your first activity you are matching clocks to the time that they show. So there's four clocks there and four different times. All of the questions today are focusing on o'clock times. So if you're already confident on telling the times to the o'clock, there's a super challenge for you at the end. But all of the times today are looking at o'clock times, just to make sure that we're all feeling super, super confident with this before we move on. So you need to match up which clock shows us which. When we're looking at the hour hand, it's going to really help you here. Look where the hour hand is pointing. That's the number that will give us the biggest clues today. And then next up, you are writing the time that the clock shows. So all of them show o'clock. It's written on each page for you somewhere. So there's somewhere that you can copy. And then you're looking at where's our hour hand pointing to, which time is it? So you can ignore the hand pointing at 12. That just tells us it's o'clock. Look at the hour hand, what hour is it pointing at? We would like you please to send us, Evan, send us a photo of question two. Even if you found it super, super tricky and couldn't do it, that's even more important that you send it to us so that we know what to teach you next. So we know how fast or how slow to go through this to really, really help you and make sure that we're all experts at telling the time by the end of it. And then finally, you've got an activity like the one we just did together, which show our friend Holly doing different things in her day. And can you write the time that she does the different things? Have a go at reading as well. You'll find the words morning, afternoon, and evening in that activity. Have a look if you can find them, read them. Can you tell someone in your family what those words mean? What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the afternoon? What might you do in the evening? Now, if you are already an expert on telling the time, which some of you might be, we've got a super challenge for you, which is to try and make a timetable for your day. Now it's up to you, it can be a made up timetable, it could be a timetable for when you're at school, or it could be a timetable for when you're at home doing what, what you're doing at the moment, you can let us know. So you can draw different clocks to show, maybe breakfast time, lunch time, bedtime, or any other things that you do during the day. So you can draw the different clocks and show us what you do. Good luck. Let us know if there's any extra help that we can give you. Telling the time is super, super tricky. So this is a big, tricky, super challenge for you today. And yes, please send us a photo on Dojo so that we can see everything you've done. Good luck and we can't wait to see it.